Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Prissy. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Today we're getting ready to do a hair tutorial. I know girl, I came in my bonnet, right? Like we looking rough this morning. It's super early in the morning. It's like what, about 5.45? So yeah, I'm getting ready to get up, pull them up, get ready to get in the shower, get ready to do my hair, and then I'll come back and show you this hair tutorial. Oh, 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 but before I go, did y'all hit subscribe? Okay, you hit subscribe, did you show on your notifications? Notifications on? All right, let's go get in the shower. <laughs> All right, so before we jump in the shower though, I wanna show you guys what this hair is looking like. I know, I know. I recently colored it like about two weeks ago and a little bit of the dye still comes off on my nails. So when I get ready to do the tutorial, I'll be wearing gloves, but to wash my hair is cool. So yeah, this is what we're looking like this morning. So I'm getting ready to hop in the shower, wet it, detangle it, and get it all moisturized and wet. All right guys, so let's jump right into this tutorial. Okay, so I have my like processing cap or shower cap, whatever you call it. I have it on so that my hair stays wet and moisturized. With this style, I love it like kind of saturated and wet. Let me go grab my towel too, cause I'm gonna need that. All right, so like I said, this style, you're gonna, you know, have your hair kind of saturated, kind of wet. So my hair is still a bit wet. Let's shake it up a little bit just to get all the product back redistributed. And then I love the fact that this sprays in and I don't have to rub it in. So I'm just gonna spray some on my hair. All right, so now that the leave-in conditioner is all in, I'm gonna go in with the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Black Seed Elongating Curling Gel. So I just start with like a good little mound of gel in my hand. <clears throat> and then I put a little bit in this hand and then I just distribute the product throughout my hair. And then I use my fingernails to kind of part it. And then I add more gel. So what I do is kind of, um, I like to separate that the, 
my sides. And then I'll go in with my sponge to create some coils around the sides and back of my hair. Using my water bottle, I'm going to saturate the top of my hair. Next, I'll part a few sections and detangle my hair while working that extra water and gel into my coils. Next, I'm going to make a side part since that's how I want to rock this look. Yes, I'm using more gel. As you notice, my hair has three lengths, short, medium, and long. For the medium sections, I'll be adding some simple finger coils to that area. If you're interested in a finger coil tutorial, click the link in the cards and there will be a link in the description box below. So finally, let's jump into what makes this a coil and go. We'll be using a combination of finger coils and just a wash and go. For my first row, I'll be doing finger coils. The curls at the front of my hair are a little looser, so I like starting with a tighter coil. For my second row, I'll detangle and shingle the product in. This is how I do my normal wash and go. So. I'll continue to alternate between a row of finger coils and a row of kind of finger shingling. Using my Murray's Edge Wax, I'll add some to my part. This ensures my hair will stay put and my part will be well defined. After a few hours of drying, this is what my hair looks like. Because we're in quarantine, we got to be the hairstylist, the makeup artist, and the barber, honey. Yes, girl, we got to get this tape up right, too. Now, if you don't feel comfortable, do not try this at home. See, me, I don't mind experimenting on my hair. I do need a new pair of clippers. I've had these for so long, but right now, they're getting the job done.
Add some oil to your hands and rub it on your hair for some added shine. Using my trusty pick, I'm going to lift my roots, being sure not to disturb the curl. All right, guys, so that is it. That is my Coil & Go tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very simple, very easy to follow, right? You only need, like, two products, and you can achieve this look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me... I had a piece of hair on my lip. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.